Welcome to another video of Walk on the Wild Side. I'm back in the vehicle again for this video, folks. So I'm going to take a little tour around town during the day. Uh, something I don't do that often, you know. I'm used to being out at night. Uh, we're just going past North Station. This is the Talbot Gateway, which I've spoken to you about before many times. The Talbot Gateway, very different to what it used to be about 10 years ago. Yeah, they used to have the Tash nightclub. This is where people come off the train, of course, come out of North Station. I've got the large Sainsbury store to my left there. So a lot of these people are coming over from the train station. I see a lot of police, actually, at the train station down there. So I wonder if it's kicking off. Yeah, could be. But, uh, yeah, we're just coming into the town centre now. I'm going to drive you around the town centre a little bit. Hopefully we won't get stuck because it does get very, very busy of course in Blackpool. That building on the left hand side there, that's the car park, that's where the old bus station used to be on the ground floor, yeah. Uh, that was a bit notorious. Blackpool does not have a bus station. Can you believe that? We do not have a bus station. Cleveland has a bus station, yeah. We don't have a bus station anymore in Blackpool, yeah. So, as you can see here, it is absolutely rammed right here at the moment, this roundabout here. So we'll come across here. Obviously we've got the tram station on the right hand side of the building and the Holiday Inn Hotel. It's all going on here in Blackpool. It's very, very busy today. We've got the sun out today. It's a Saturday. We've got a big bus coming around the corner now. Look at this here. Whoa. What a end off that bus there. Whoa. <laughs> Letting people go there. Well, I wonder if I can get out now. No, no. I'm trying, folks. I'm trying, but it's, it's practically impossible to move at the moment. Anyway, I'm out. I'm out. We're out. And we're now going past that bus, where the bus station used to be. It's now a gym. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn right here. We'll have a little look down Dixon Road. Okay, I just cut it there, folks, because you don't really want to be looking at a back end of a van for two minutes, do you, while I'm stuck at the traffic lights. Anyway, I'm just going to turn right here, looking down Talbot Road there towards Talbot Square and the North Pier. This is Mark Kelly's on the corner. You know it well. I've seen it in my videos. We're going up Dixon Road now. Very colourful Dixon Road, especially at night. An interesting part of Blackpool. It's a pride village, of course. We've got the... Funny Girls on the right hand side, that used to be the Odeon of course, the Odeon Cinema. This is the Pride Village now where we are. Lots of gay pubs, clubs. Yeah, down here at night it's very, very colourful. And um, it's a nice way from the, the lady there, it's a lot across the... Uh, Zebra crossing. You've got to be careful now on the roads, folks, because people in the road, you have to give way to them, even if they're not on a crossing, so you've got to watch out for that. So I'm going to head up here towards... I'm going to head up towards... Um, Gin Square folks, right up to Gin Square where the roundabout is. So I have been down Dixon Road a few times. It's a little bit, it's one of those roads that there's different sides to it. You know, we've just been on the, I suppose the, the most popular side there for the clubs and the pubs, but we're now going onto a part of Dixon Road that's a little bit well, it's just a little bit down market, this part here. It's fallen on hard times. There's quite a few empty shops on the right-hand side. Yet, we're going past some of the largest hotels on Blackpool Promenade. That's the Imperial. It's around about 1865 when the Imperial was built and people like Charles Dickens, the Queen Mother, have stayed at the Imperial. But this part of Dixon Road is a little bit, uh, yeah, it's a little bit iffy around here especially at night and we're now going to go around the back of the grand hotel on the left hand side that used to be the pembroke we're now starting to get a few shops now it's starting to go a little bit more up market again after that middle section there the derby bass used to be on the left hand side that's where the derby bass used to be 
yeah, they were knocked down in, I think it was 1991. But we're coming down now to Ginn Square. And if you look at some old photographs of Blackpool, you might be able to see the old Ginn pub, which used to be down here. You might even see Uncle Tom's Cabin. If you look in the, in the distance, straight ahead, there's like a, a, a high part of the promenade. And that's where Uncle Tom's Cabin used to be. Yeah, back in the olden days, one of the oldest pubs. Certainly one of the oldest pubs on Blackpool Promenade. Gonna take a left here, I'm gonna head. Look at this sky, look at it, it's amazing, isn't it? Amazing weather in Blackpool. So I'm making the turn now, we're gonna head back towards Blackpool Town Centre, and there's the tower there, look at that. Oh, I, lo I love this part of the promenade, you know, because this part of the promenade here, you get that amazing view of Blackpool straight down the road. And it looks really good when they've got the illuminations on. It looks like they've got quite a few lights up there now, already for the illuminations when they... When they... I'll tell you what, it probably won't be that long before they start putting them up again. The Strand Hotel on the left, Alan Bradley, he got run over by a tram just over the road there. We're now going around the front of the Imperial, the Imperial Hotel. We're quite high up here now, it's, a, it's quite a high part of the promenade. We've got the Park House Hotel on the left, quite a few smaller hotels. We've also got the, uh, is it the, um, the Best Western there? This is the, the Claremont. Lansdowne Crescent on the left hand side, that was around about 1875 I think when that was built, Lansdowne Crescent. It now contains the Claremont and Tiffany's and a couple of smaller hotels. And the Parisian there on the left hand side, that's been closed. Dacious Holidays on the left there. We're coming up to Cocker Square. There used to be baths here at Cocker Square back in the olden days. Anyone remember the baths at Cocker Square? I think they're a bit before my time, but I'm looking out now. You can't see it from here, I'm afraid, but I'm looking out towards the North Pier and it looks absolutely epic. It looks amazing. But we're now coming down to the side of the Metropole Hotel and it actually looks like it's going to be really real. I am not going into that traffic jam there. I think that I'm going to take a left here folks up Springfield Road. Yeah I'm not going to go up there folks because Blackpool Promenade looks absolutely stuffed. It always seems to happen when you get to this point here near the town centre. Anywhere near the tower, that area there, the, the promenade it just gets absolutely rammed. So what I'll do is we'll, uh, we'll head up this road here back onto Dixon Road and what I'm going to do now is I'll head out of town and I'll just show you some different areas of Blackpool. We've had a look around the town centre and um, it's, it's got a bit of a good feel today, you know it's got this sunny, we've got this nice sunny weather today and I think people are having a good time. People are coming to Blackpool, they're enjoying the weather. It's not, it's not always this good, is it? But uh, now I want to take you to another part of Blackpool, some changing parts of Blackpool. I'm gonna take you through Leighton. We'll have a look at Leighton and uh, maybe beyond. Yeah, so we're just coming back on ourselves a bit here now, folks. Coming back on the Dixon Road, past Funny Girls there. It's actually getting quite warm now. I'm filming this on the 15th of April, Saturday. So we're coming back past Mar Kelly's again. I tell you what, it's looking really busy in town, you know. It is, yeah, so I'm going to make the turn here. Take a right here, folks. That's the uh, council offices. That's where the Tash Nightclub used to be, right there, where that fancy new building is there. They don't actually have a zebra crossing there, you know, folks. I don't know 
why, but there's no zebra crossing there, and yet everybody uses it as a crossing. And I don't really know why Blackpool Council haven't actually installed a proper zebra crossing, you know, with the beacons and everything. It's uh, quite surprising, really, because it is a very, very busy crossing. But we're going down Cookson Street. Uh, I'm not going <laughs> to talk about <laughs> some of the places down here because I think I've done enough of that. But uh, I'm going to take a left here onto Corn Street. That's the Regent Cinema straight ahead. I'm going to take a left here. There's been some buildings knocked down around here. On the right-hand side, there were some buildings that had um, murals on. And they were knocked down, yeah, they had some quite fancy murals on them as well, but they've just extended the car park there. But we're now on Corn Street, yeah, we're now on Corn Street. And we're heading out of Blackpool towards the east, and we're going to head towards the Leighton area. And this road, this road as well, is a little bit, it's one of those where, yeah, it's just a little bit iffy, this road, I think, in parts. Especially at night, it's just got that feel about it. And um, there's, a, there's quite a few closed up shops. There's, I don't know if they're closed up on the right hand side, I'm not too sure. There's a, there's a shop that's closed up on the corner there, a sales and rentals shop. But yeah, I have done a video in this part of town. It has had a bit of trouble actually over the past, since, since the pandemic, there was quite a bit of trouble in this area. It's the Brunswick area, Brunswick and Talbot area. Yeah, there's quite a bit of trouble. Yeah, so we're just coming up now to, that's the Victory pub on the right hand side, the Victory, Victory Road crosses left and right there. So we're heading down Corn Street, oh, crazy dog, <laughs> a little bit rough this road along here. There's a church on the right hand side, there's a blue plaque on it as well, I can't see the blue plaque, but that, St Thomas Parish Centre. There you go, but we're now at the junction with Devonshire Road. <laughs> and there's another church there. Oh, that's all St Thomas, I think. Yeah, it's all St. So two separate buildings there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a left. We're going to go left, left, left. Down Devonshire Road. All change around here as well in the last, well, 10 years or so. We, we got rid of the flats, the high-rise flats, which you would have seen on the right-hand side. We've now got these establishments on the left. We've got Costa, we've got KFC on the right, we've got a little. So we had the high-rise flats over on the right-hand side. So it's all looking a bit different around here now. 2016 was when they demolished the Leighton flats, the high-rise flats. I'm just going to let this car go here. There's a guy in the back there that didn't look very happy about letting that car out because he <laughs> he carried on cycling and then that car pulled out but like, he wasn't really in on the game anyway i'm going to turn right here past this garage here. left hand side by the way used to be a hospital on the left hand side devonshire hospital yeah devonshire road hospital so i'm going to take a right here onto talbot road and we're going to head towards Leighton. Okay, so we're now heading east along Talbot Road. People out cutting hedges there. It's that sort of day today. Fire engine over the road there. One, oh, two fire engines over the road. Wonder what's going on there. Anyway, this is Talbot Road, and we're heading towards Leighton. I have showed Leighton before, very rarely though. Yeah, very rarely. So we'll get a good look at uh, Leighton. The Queen's Hotel on the left hand side. That's a big pub, the Queen's Hotel. There's some quite fancy houses down here as well down this part of Talbot Road, like a red brick, see on the left hand side there, like a red, very, very ornate looking uh, front frontage on those houses there. But we're now coming into the shopping area of Leighton, check this out, look at this, we've just gone past the cemetery by the way, that was Leighton Cemetery on the left hand side, huge cemetery, and this is Leighton, Leighton Village, it's a very swanky barber's on the corner there, it's called The Huntsman, a very swanky 
barbers. Yeah, so look at this, folks. Look at all these shops here. Very, very busy around here. Yeah, really popular is uh, Leighton Shopping Area. We're just going past the Institute on the left-hand side, Paul O'Grady, the late Paul O'Grady and Lily Savage did a show there, weekly. It was a weekly show, wasn't it, on TV? So there you go, that was uh, that, that was great, wasn't it? We, we came past all those shops there. That was Leighton Shopping Village, and we're now sort of heading towards, I would say that we're heading towards the, the Grange Park Estate, but I'm not going to go that way. I'm going to... There's a left turn here, Mansfield Road. That takes you down to where the biscuit factory is. I'm going to take a... I'm going to take a left up here. I think that was the bus lane on the left hand side, so I chose the right lane. I'm going to take a left here, down this road here. Now I do believe, possibly, that Joe Longthorne used to live in that house on the left hand side. I'm not too sure about that, folks. Uh, somebody told me, it's quite a big house there on the left hand side, Joe Longthorne. This is called Bispam Road, and this takes us up towards Plymouth Road. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn left. In fact, I have to turn left because uh, you're not allowed to turn right up here. That's the Mowbray Drive Industrial Estate over the other side of the bridge. You can't really see it, but it's a massive industrial estate. And this is um, just going over the bridge now. There used to be uh, a woodworking factory on the other side, next to the railway tracks. It became a B&Q, that, over there. It's now got a B&M bargains and an Aldi over there now, so it's, it's quite different. I'm going to take a left here now onto Warbreck Hill Road. OK, we've come full circle, folks. We're right at the other end of Ginn Square right at the very opposite end of Warbreck Hill Road and we're now going to go up this hill it's called Knoll Hill, it's where the water tower is, can you see the water tower there? the highest natural point in Blackpool not surprisingly it's where they chose to put the the water tower so we're heading up Warbreck Hill Road or Knoll Hill left hand side was Warbreck School. I don't know what it's called now. Um, Unity Academy, I think it's called. That used to be Warbreck School on the left hand side. So we're coming full circle to where I was at Ginn Square. Coming back round. Just coming back up to the junction again with Devonshire Road, although we are a little bit further up this time. It's a little bit more upmarket this end. Some quite nice houses up here, actually. Yeah, I quite like it up this end of Blackpool. I'll tell you what, it's really busy. Look at all this traffic. It's unbelievable. So we'll just go past this roundabout here, a little roundabout with fake grass on it. I'm going to head up Devonshire Road a bit further north, a little bit more. Up market, I would say, at this end, yeah. Some quite big houses up here, but we are about to go past North Shore Golf Course. So you do tend to get quite swanky houses near a golf course. But on the right hand side is pretty much the summit of Knoll Hill. And we've got the rock gardens there. The Rock Gardens is where the summit of Knoll Hill is and there's some amazing views. But we can see amazing views from here. If you look straight ahead now, you might just be able to see the Bispam College there. Look at that. Whoa, look at that. I can see right up to Ingleborough. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. So we're coming down now. I've got to keep on the brake here because it's easy to it's easy to speed coming down here. You've got to watch it because they sometimes have the traffic safety cameras somewhere up here to make sure that people aren't speeding down the hill but on the left hand side it's very green because that's the uh, the perimeter of the North Shore 
golf course. So we're heading towards Bispam now. The Bispam area, Little... Oh, so it's not Little Bispam, I think it's Bispam Village. I get mixed up between the two. Up here. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm not going to go to Red Bank Road. I'm going to take a left down here. Let's have a look down here, shall we? Around the golf course. It should be quite swanky around here, shouldn't it? Look at this, eh? What do you think? You know, a lot Blackpool gets a lot. People slag it off, you know. Ah, oh, Blackpool, ah, oh, it's all run down. It's full of, you know, full of beer monsters and whatever. But there's more to Blackpool than, you know, the promenade and the, the piers and people live here yeah and this is quite a nice area up here looks even nicer in the sunshine Sunnybank Avenue Countess Crescent that's the names of the streets around here in fact I think I'm driving into a dead end <laughs> Oh no, no, it's all right, I can turn right here. This, this, this road has been cut off, I didn't know that. This road has actually been cut off here, so I've got to turn right here and then left. So we're getting to see a little bit of Blackpool, a little bit of, we've seen a bit of the town centre and we've also seen a little bit of, I took you through Leighton, the shopping area. And now we're getting to see where people live where people live in Blackpool. Yeah, people do live in Blackpool. They don't just come here for a holiday. There's a lot of people that do come here. You get a lot of transients in Blackpool. Of course. You don't get too many transients up this end because this area up here is quite... It's a little bit more upmarket. So we're now heading back towards the promenade again. There's a tram there waiting to take you to the Fleetwood Ferry. Oh, oh sorry, actually, that one's going south, I think. Or is it going north? Actually, I think it's going north, that one. Yeah, that one's going to the Fleetwood Ferry. So we're back on the promenade again, and that was it, a little tour of Blackpool. As we go past the old miners' home on the left-hand side there, massive building, a grand building. The old miners' home, it's been turned into apartments, and they'll be very expensive, those. I don't think I could afford one. The views across the sea at the moment are absolutely epic. Anyway, I hope you like this video something a bit different for you. I've taken you on a bit of a tour around Blackpool, the town centre, Leighton, and we took a look around uh, the area of Bispam and some of the residential areas. I hope you liked the video. If you do, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and I'll see you again on the next one.